So now we gotta go over here and figure out what we're gonna do over here. Is there anything we don't like in this port? It's already at the gasket size, except for yeah. a little bit of a D, which doesn't really hurt me any. Well, don't we want to get rid of this lip right here? Like all this lip? Nah, not really. No. We got that drop right there. We got to work on the back side here a little bit. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to work on the top of the port. See, all this hair comes right through here. Yeah. Where's my finger pointed? Up. So you want it to come is down? It, is it pointed over here? Nope. Then it doesn't really matter there. Because ah. the exhaust is coming out at what speed? Not sure. About six, seven hundred feet per second. Six hundred feet per second? Yeah. Holy shit. Maybe. Okay. Well, higher. That's pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, maybe it's only three or four hundred feet per second at low speed. <laughs> Still need somewhere to go. At high RPM, you can hit. You can basically get, make it a carpool lane for air to go. The more restricted the port is, you can hit supersonic speeds inside your port, which really gets restrictive. It doesn't okay. like being that restricted. All right, look out. The camera's in my way. I'm in your way. So. Knocking off high stuff. Go. So you just took off the titties and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're gonna blend up this this blending tool. side. So you open this up over here, it makes no difference because the Damn. choke point's way over here. Look how big this is, look how small it is over here. Yeah. So when you make the big part bigger, it doesn't help you any. It just makes a worse flow because now it hits the exhaust pipe. Because it doesn't flow out into the pipe, it hits the pipe. It actually flows worse if you open it up. And over here, too hot in here. Need to be over here. Like this maybe. There's a better angle. So going outside, you can see more. Same deal. This is just casting. It's a good shape. There's no big lumps that I feel. This will show lumps if there's any in there. spot right there but no lumps. See the low spot? No, you just kind of see it in glare. It's a dull gray. Yeah. On the short side, which is an area you probably shouldn't be playing with very much, because that's where you really kill the flow quickly. You screw around with that. Oh boy. But that's okay. I like screwing around the areas I'm not supposed to. I don't follow directions very well, so. so we're gonna... I must have not been good in school. So you can see right in there. Light. The port. See how the port looks from this angle. Shit. That's what the exhaust sees. So see how it has to go around that big ass hump there. So we're gonna try to clean that up a little bit. Well, there it is. Right there. You see it better on camera. Yeah. Well, that's, that's gonna be there. big on the camera when you look at it. I don't know. You can't really see that very well on the camera. Yeah. I'm zooming a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'll turn the light off on that. It might work better. Eh, it's probably because the light's coming in. Yeah, the light blinds yeah. it. It's actually pretty dark looking, but the camera looks bright. So it's the same, we're going to get that negative angle a little bit with my cutter.
So I guess the funnel started. Now it's smooth right through there. Now we determine how much we want to actually cut off of that. So you use a nice, you know, not too aggressive finish. Not too aggressive, is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it's pretty loose there. It gets real tight right down there, and it gets loose here. So it's only tight right in that one spot. So that's right, where we're going to hit. Right in this thick area right here. Your finger in there like everything else you want your finger holy shit no yeah. a little different it was a lot different a lot different a lot different you can actually see through the port now right there so finger actually goes through there like all the other spots where they didn't fit before over here also so if we can put a whole finger in there all the way around now it's a good sign right <laughs> and we're still keeping a pretty good short a straight edge all the way through here. It goes in straight, then it makes the radius. But when you get up over here, it becomes really crappy right there. You can see it's all cut away right there. Feel out the top edge there when you come across it. See how bad right that there. feels yeah, right, right there? Right there, yeah. You feel it feels that. horrible, doesn't it? All this other stuff has a nice long radius in that crappy area right there. That's where our airflow is going to be killed because there's no radius. See, it's good here, and then boom, nothing. Then it's radiused again. Well, compared to what it used to be, we were about to kill. We actually have got some flow through there right now. Yep. So now you flip it around this way and see what we really cut on this side. So where's the area that's bad? Right here's the bad spot. This here is a bad spot. We need more metal through here. Okay. So if you're going to plug the port up on this side, if you plug that port up right through there, it'll flow more air. All right. And I'll fresh out all hole plugs. <laughs> so we just got to leave it. Harrison. All right. 
So I took my flat cutter, this one, you see I fall across here, I go like this for the port, see the angle coming out, you, roll mm -hmm. it, you just kind of roll it down a little bit and go straight across, what's left? That deep. I have to look at my angle. See the cutter comes out like this. Yep. Cutter cut like this. Mm -hmm. I cut right across that. If that was in the way, it would have been cut away. Yep. If it's not in the way, leave it. So gotcha. now, when the, now when the exhaust comes back this way, it hits a dam, so it doesn't want to get feedback in the cylinder. So that makes it actually flow a bit better. Like I said, this would it'd be better if this was plugged up more over here. Actually made the port smaller if it would help. Now you can cut more on this other side away a little bit, but we're pretty equal how it's coming around. Now you can go in there and cut that side away, but on the street motor you want to try to keep it as small as you can but flow good. On a race bike you cut more of that away because that's going to kill low lift flow, but it'll help on the high lift flow. So it's the street bikes, so we still got to keep it within reason. So now I'm going to go over here. We need to work on this problem over here. What was the problem over here? Uh, this piece right here was a little too high. We had a hump in the way. Yeah. We had about two threads of clearance. So I got a hump remover. Don't hit the valve seat. Don't hit the valve seat. Very important. Unless you want to. It's up to you. Very used to top of the hole doesn't hurt. No, I don't have the spark plug and bring it over to see how much of that we can cut away. You have to bring that over at some point. Okay, now the intake is where this really becomes a problem. So we go back to the removing tool. We're just creating more airspace. So, why is it high here and not here? Yeah. So that means you cut all that away, right? Mm hmm. Maybe. Let's see if you don't bring a plug over. We got checked. Well, we checked it last time. So, yeah, but I don't remember. So I'm going to go this direction and blow all this crap out just my way this way. Delicate in that area. <laughs> Got a chair for the hole. Alright. At least now it'll flow air. I can get close and get to that edge. Pretty close. I'm close. Pretty close. I don't think so. so. At least now the air can come out. Yep. It can go in. Well, that's a little bit of a peak in there, so that's okay. That's 
come up this way, it shoots it past the exhaust valve. The air comes through here, hits that, kind of ramps up. Instead of going way over this edge over here, because when they overlap, these valves in the way. So having that little peak right through there is okay. It's like having a peak through the center doesn't hurt anything. Probably helps a little bit, having a little peak in the center. When they said dead spot. So I'm alright with that. We'll put a plug in there and see if it's exposed or not. But you know that'll keep the compression up a little bit by having that in there like that. You can actually fill the whole chamber in from here to here. You can see it, the gas isn't going to flow way over here. So you can actually put you can put metal in here and wouldn't hurt the flow. At least on this side. On this side here it would eventually, but everything's a trade-off. Okay, now over here we gotta do our cutting over here. Lean this over a little bit further so I can get to it. So we gotta clean up this area right through here. A little tricky. I'm gonna need kind of a sharp edge. See that burr right there? Cut. A little bit over mm -hmm. here too. Mm -hmm. Switch sides. So let me just grind this out a little bit. Sacrifice compression to get a little better flow. Holds in my way. Now this one here, a little bit more. So that's a nice flow that way, a nice flow this way. We're not opening up any more than we need to, obviously. We can just flow around real nice and cleanly. That looks good, that looks a lot better. Should I take that sharp edge you left in there? Mm. Leave that for you later. <laughs> Give you something to do. <laughs> looks like a good little chamber now. Uh, I don't like sharp edges. I don't know if it's compression really sticks in that deep or not. <laughs> oh, I don't like sharp edges. <laughs> Gonna chamfer it over a little bit. That's all you need. Stuck. Right there. They both suck. <laughs> or actually, they both blow. Blow, blow, blow. Full time blow, not sharp. Halfway. So this has a little bit of a sharp edge here, which is fine. Just don't cut yourself on it. If you don't like sharp edge, you can take them off. So if it'll fit in here. It's hard to get in there with anything. Be burning tool. Oop. 
gas can leak there a little bit for you. I don't like cutting myself. No one does. I might be the one cleaning these up, not you. So, <laughs> so now I can put two fingers in there, no problem. Yep. And over here, I can't get quite two in there yet. They're kind of a little tight, but kind of get almost get one in there. It's better than before. Yeah. So I like them being where I can get my fingers in there, but yeah, these are. You know, these big twin cam motors, they're not made to make any horsepower anyway, so it'll be all right. Just noise. All right, so what's the difference? Way more, way more airflow. Less restrictions. Lots so, smoother. So see, we barely do anything on the intake port, because it's already huge. Yep. Unshroud it where it needs to be unshrouded. Mm -hmm. Do some deburring. Unshroud the chamber. Off. We go to town. Gotta to get the airflow out. Yep. Versus this one, it's down in here. Now this port over here is a lot more open up than this port. Than that port. It's coming at a little bit different angles. It's still pretty open behind it, but so you can see how this is pretty big on this side over here. Except right where they cut, right here where it's constipated. Behind that, it's wide open. See how, see how my fingers way under there? Yep. Just underneath that, it's got a lot of airflow potential, but they choke it right here. This one over here, it's along the wall is where it gets bad. So just like this one was. Here's a big one on this side and choked on this side. So you can see how I open them up, so I'm kind of getting more or less equal on both sides, not just one over the other. All right, that's it for that. We'll do this one now. Cool.